This is a video of smudging. Why we do it, what kind of smudge is it, and why are we smudging? Complete instructions for your well-being. So stay put. Here you see some of the most traditional kinds of smudge. Sage, sweet grass, and tobacco. What's missing here is juniper, but we have red cedar and cedar that can make up for that, and also lavender and holy basil. Let's go in and look at each one of these. The white sage is the most common herb used for smudging. It has a nice strong um, scent to it, and you can almost immediately feel its clearing effect. Native tobacco that was grown without any chemicals or from uh, cigarettes that has additives to it can also be used for smudging. This is also used in the medicine wheel uh, to give gifts to uh, when you ask for teachings and uh, offerings. So this is uh, the red cedar. It has a purifying effect. Uh, that includes also its wood that can, when you have small pieces of it, you can be using that for your smudge as well. This is holy basil, which is mostly known in the Far East and in Asia, and it's used uh, to for um, purification of altars and temples. And this one ha can grow in Canada as well in the northern latitude. What you might not have known is that lavender, which we see here, can also be used as smudge. Uh, it's grown in, in France and other places. So here we've discussed some of the different kind of smudges that you can use. Now let's see how do you smudge. So what you do, you place your herbs in a bowl like this. It's a abalone shell, which is the traditional uh, type of smudge bowl that there is. And you, I have collected here a mix of different things that we just seen. And now we're going to light it. So here we lit this, this, these herbs, and then we blow out the fire. And here we have the smoke. So now we can use. Or feather. You can also use a smudge that's been rolled up in a stick like this. So when you take the herbs, you uh, already roll them up uh, before drying them. And then you hang them to dry and then when you need them, you could just light the end and move the, the stick in your aura. It's very convenient. Make sure that you put it up properly when you're finished. So how do we go about smudging? Yes, I can take my hand in the smoke and then just... It's like the same way as we wash our hands or wash our face. We bring the smoke over our aura and bring it from the, around the head, around our heart, in front of our body. And if you have help, you can have somebody do the back of your body and the idea is to have the smoke go through all all of your sides and when you are finished you usually say thank you and uh, thank the herbs for the purifying effect and then you go about in your day it's a very beautiful ritual to do hello I am Margarita and I'll show you how you can smudge yourself feather. I take the smoke and I bring it up around my head to clear my mind. Then I bring it down into my throat area to clear my speaking and my energy. And then I bring it around my heart pure in how I love and I, uh, in all my relations. And then you bring it all the way from the top of the bottom to your aura, down to your feet, and then to the back. And there we are, pure.
purified and ready to go. I thank you and the